Hey you guys, it is Colleen and by the end of this video, you will have a quick, easy go-to workout that you can do. Some of the moves you can do at home, some are for the gym. So um, stay tuned and you guys will have a workout that is really designed more for beginners, but if you up the weights, if you um, up the reps, it could be more advanced, but I wanted to do kind of a beginner thing um, and it is going to be focused on the legs. So strong legs will help you have a strong glute, which will help you have a strong core. So it's kind of all around. And I left in the description the sets that we're gonna be doing so you can screenshot it and reference it when you're working out. But um, before we dive into that, I wanted to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications. Um, I am a newer channel, so that really helps me. Um, all that support really helps me with engagement and everything. And also, I wanted you guys to comment down below what are some of your favorite fitness channels to follow because I wanna do a series where I try um, different workouts from these different fitness um, women that post videos online and kind of report back to you guys what I thought the workout was like, if it was hard, if it was easy, um, etc. And I also made a video where I tried out some of the summer race squats, so I will add a card right here for you guys to go check out that video as well and comment that you came from the leg workout. Anyways, enough with the intro. I'm going to hop right into explaining the workout to you guys that I crafted. To begin this workout, I was looking for a cardio machine, like I prefer treadmill or Stairmaster, but this day the gym happened to be super busy, but I didn't want to skip out on cardio, so I found this like kind of funky Stairmaster machine that no one was using, and I did 10 minutes of it at level 5, so it was going a little bit quickly. Um, but just to like warm up my legs before I started doing the weighted movements because I didn't want to like pull anything um, So yeah, that is what I did to begin but preferably I would use like a different Stairmaster or a different treadmill machine um, So anyways moving on to the exercises I did three sets of 10 squats with a 30 pound weight so the 30 pound weight was a little bit heavier because it was just one weight. I didn't have like two 15s in my hand, but I was holding the 30 pound weight right here. And on my squats, what you want to do is I learned this when I did, I had a personal trainer for like the shortest amount of time. But when you're going down on your squats, people tend to just go down quickly because of gravity. And then they like slowly come back up. But it's actually better if you go down really slowly and then explosively come up. But going down slowly and resisting going down, it makes your muscles like, work harder so think about that don't just like go down really quickly and then go back up um, try to go down on your squats super slow so that was kind of what I was trying to do there the next one was 10 by 30 but like 10 on each leg of these like side squats so you can see it requires some flexibility but you're going down on one side and it's also going to be working your glute and your core because you're off center when you're going down and coming up so um there is some like mental focus there in staying balanced um so i did three by ten on each leg and then i had the 30 pound weight next movement i did was three by ten jump squats so for this one i did not have the weight when i was jumping because in my functional fitness class we learned that you having weights or any type of extra thing on you when you're doing jumping movements where you're not on the ground it's actually a huge risk for injury no matter how strong and coordinated you are you are not actually supposed to be holding any weights when you're up off the ground because as you're coming down um, you can risk tearing things in your legs and your ankle and your knee so you're not supposed to actually have weights when you're doing these movements so I did no weights three by ten jump squats and I tried to do them like pretty quickly back to back because it's gonna get your heart rate up and it's not going to be like these slower focused squats these are more like agility and just going fast the next one I did was three by 10 squat lunges. So for the 10, it'd be like down with my right foot, like one, two, three, four. So you guys get it. So I did that and of course I didn't have a weight again because I didn't want to injure myself. But this one was just kind of about like your heart rate and going quickly. Um, and you're also engaging your core more in this one in your glutes because you're landing in an off balance position so you're kind of forced to focus on staying centered as you're switching your feet and to conclude as i said it was pretty fast and easy workout um i just went over to the resistance machine and i put it at 20 pounds and each leg i just pulled out to the side 
and I did 3 by 10 on each leg again. You can do 2 by 15 if you feel like you have the energy and you kind of want to knock them out quicker, but I did 3 by 10. Um, so pulling out, one thing to focus on is it's easy to try to like pull out quickly and then just come in quickly, but what you want to do is again like the other ones it is not a race you just want to go slowly as you're pulling out because your legs are going to be so engaged and when you're coming back it's easy to like want to just go quickly i think i might have gone a little bit quicker than i liked in this one in the video but when you're coming back you want to focus on going slow because not only is it gonna like make you change your habit of just wanting to go through it kind of power through it but when you're coming in slowly and you're resisting the resistance machine it is making your muscles work extra hard and it's making you focus mentally too so try to pull that leg in slowly when you're coming back the slower the more muscles you're working the stronger you'll be by the end of it and of course just stretch at the end um I can always make like an in-depth stretching video i think i might but so i wanted to just show you guys that quick kind of leg routine um for beginners of course you can make it more advanced with like the weights you do and stuff um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um if you liked it go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications like the video comment down below what fitness people you watch as well because i want to start trying out their workouts and like filming myself trying them out i think that'd be a really interesting series so stay tuned for that and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video